So, yeah, I mean, I suppose you looked it up on your own, or maybe looked it up on Canvas, but just for the record, if we have a circle, and we have an angle, and we have a radius, then that creates an arc on the circle, and the length of the R is R times theta. And this is a nice little, um, little equation, mainly because it's nicer when you're using radians than when you're using degrees. Um, I've said that radians really show their power in the couch to this. So in trigonometry, it can be a little, you know, what are these good for? And here's an equation that if you're using radians, it's nice. The arc length is the radius times the angle. If you're using degrees, it's what? two times pi times r times theta divided by 360. So here's an example of a formula being simplified by using radians instead of degrees. Um, this formula works if theta is bigger than two pi. If theta is two pi, it measures, I mean, think of sort of walking around the circle. If theta is bigger than two pi, you walk all the way around it and then you keep walking. And the S you get is the total distance that you walk. So a sort of classic example with this formula would be something like. A bicycle has a tire radius of 11 inches, and when pedaled, it rotates 270 rotations per minute. Let's find the speed of the bike. And to find the speed of the bike, we're going to figure out how far the bike travels in a minute. And then that will be a speed, however many miles per minute. And the point here is that as, you know, as this wheel rotates, you know, the wheel is going along the ground. So as the wheel rotates, the bike is moving. And the distance of the rotation is giving the distance along the ground. Like if the wheel rotated just to this amount, so that it started with, this is rotating the wrong way for a bike, whatever. So if we imagine that this is the point that starts on the ground, the wheel rotates a bit, and then this is the point that's on the ground. This is the horizontal distance that the bike travels. 
So although we're asking for a horizontal distance, the way we can approach this problem is to find this distance on a circle. Now, what do we need for that? We need a radius and we need a number of angles. We need an angle in radian. The radius is given, it's 11 inches. What about theta? Well, one rotation is 2 pi theta, and there are 270 rotations. So the um, angular change, the number of radians that are passed through, is the number of rotations times 2 pi radians per rotation. Let's use, we could use our calculator. I'm going to make our life easier. We're now a little behind, so I don't want to dwell on this too much. I'm going to use Wolfram Alpha to do this stuff. And the arc length, which is also the horizontal distance traveled, is the radius times the angle. S equals R theta. It's 11 times 270 times 2 pi. And because the radius is in feet, um, this 270 doesn't have a unit. This 2 pi doesn't have a unit. Radians are a unit this. The only unit here is coming from that 11, and sometimes my mouth just operates independently of my brain. That would be quite a big bike wheel if it were 11 feet. It's 11 inches. So it travels. Eleven times two hundred seventy times two pi inches. This many inches. And it travels this many. Let's see if Wolfram Alpha will do this for me. It travels that many inches per minute. Inches per minute is not a very convenient um, way of thinking about speed. Here we go. It travels at about 17.67 miles per hour. There we go. We also have, let's just put it on the board. We also have, uh, you know, if we've got a radius and we've got an angle, in addition to the arc length, you could ask, oh, how big is this piece of the pie, as it were? And again, sort of the point of talking about this in a trigonometry class is to give an example, a second example, 
where using radians gives you a nice formula, and using degrees gives you a messy formula. What would this be if it were in degrees? Well, it would be pi, the radius squared, times theta over 300 and 60. So significantly less nice than theta over two times r squared. With that little, we would have spent significantly more time on, um, on that if we'd had class on Friday.